G'day and welcome back for more assertive acquisitions. What are you doing, Kamak? Well, I saw something. What through a thick through a solid wall? There are more ghosts. I think it might have been a ghost. It was like a shadow went across this this door over here. Was it one of us? I could be imagining things. Does that put a shadow on it? No. No. Hmm. Oh well. Uh, I'm going to close my helmet so that I don't suffocate when we open these doors. Three, two, one, open. Ah! <laughs> Bye, TFE. <laughs> I you know was smart and stood against the door. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, so, Kapak, we need to figure out how we're going to do this ridiculousness you've done with the jump drives. Uh, they just need to be welded up, I guess. Well, I think they can move one block higher. What? Yeah. Oh yeah, my hedge tram was on fire. Um, what's wrong with one block higher? Uh, if they're one block higher, they'll be hitting these weird interior walkway things that you've done. Oh yeah, but those those aren't those are things I've done, but may not necessarily be the things that are kept. I was just trying some stuff with that. I don't know. It's. Uh, I, w I just thought it might be nice to give a gap down the bottom so we can walk underneath them, but maybe it's not needed. Hmm. How big are these things? Three blocks. Yeah, three by three by two. So the other thing I was thinking is we probably need to start thinking about resource collection. I thought you were just buying everything with your ill-gotten gains. Um, You're the one piloting it that was stolen. <laughs> I'm just going to point out that it cost me a million space credits to repair, just repair, the wasabi. Well, you shouldn't have gotten it wrecked. Agreed. But if it's costing a million, there's no way we're going to have the money to make this thing built without, well, via that means. We're going to have to use a different way to get. We'd have so much money, we could just resources. buy out the station instead. Probably. Oh, well, we'll leave those jump drives where they are for now. We don't really need to fiddle about with that. It's not particularly urgent or anything for us to deal with that side of things. I guess the next most important thing to start setting up in here is going to be stuff like the missile bays and the launch platforms for the paprikas slash wasabis because we're going to need repair and reprinting of those so that we've got fighter capability. So... If this section is the uh, elevator section, yep. then how many sections do we have left? One, two, three. We got three and then we get to the... I presume all this space in here will be like living quarters and stuff. Energy yeah, I think that's what it's going to end up being, yeah. Because uh, it, it's up the front, it's near the, near the bridge, so it makes kind of sense. Uh, but we are, we're also going to need a full-on medical room down the back and one probably up the front too so that we have multiple potential <laughs> respawns in well, case catastrophe strikes yeah uh, I think I think down here where we've got the med bay I might make this into like a proper like engineering medical section yeah but I'll just leave it to the open for now while we're still working on things yeah 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 I think I think we might need to rearrange these corridors a bit. I mean, sorry. I mean, wondering if we're going to need to. The reason being, the dual corridors are currently occupying a massive amount of real estate that would be used for missile launch bays or fighter slash... What was that? Did anyone hear that sound? Yeah, it's probably nothing. Sort of like weird beeping? I think it was... I think it came from Kapak's suit. What? Why is Kapak's suit beeping? He's about to explode. I think he forgot to turn off the notifications on his suit. I thought you had to pay extra for that. Yeah, but he's he's easily fooled by such things. As much as I love the idea of driving around here and racing around the ship, the duplicate corridors do occupy a large amount of potentially valuable real estate. So, I thought your whole plan we was, was we were going to have like top and bottom mounted launches. Yeah, yeah, th that was my plan. So I guess I should go that way to some extent. Um, but I also need we also need space to launch the mining ships, 
the welding ship, the, you know, all that sort of stuff as well. And the wasabis. But what I thought I'd do is maybe if, maybe if I start designing a launch slash repair bay for a wasabi paprika style of thing, it'll give us an idea of how big that needs to be. Because ideally we probably want to have several of those ready to go at any moment. Or several of whatever fighter of that rough scale we are using at the time. Because I do intend to build a new wasabi. But yeah. Alright, I'll start working on that. Whoa. What was that? Did you just drop a plate Appar on the ground? No, apparently me dropping a steel plate caused um, everything to just go... <laughs> Did your ship just try and run away again? No, it didn't. Oh, that's I don't something. Know why I did that? That's something. Do either of you two have any ideas about how we might go about getting some more resources, specifically platinum and gold? Uh, bank robbery. I don't even know. Yes. Um, I guess I well, could go on You just suggested ship. piracy. No, I suggested <laughs> robbery. I mean, I could go What's and have a look at some of these asteroids. Uh, maybe piracy is when you take something in on on transit. That seemed like a somewhat subtle distinction. Why is everything on my wasabi on fire? That th those jerks! Those trade station jerks! What? Did you spend all no, their money and no, get swindled? Wasn't that from fighting the other guys? Yeah, but I repaired wasabi. after that. Same with your H-Tram. Repaired it just long enough for me to get home, not realise what was wrong, so they could run off with our money. Are you saying that that trading post was like um, the father in Roald Dahl's Matilda? That is oddly specific and I'm not sure. <laughs> Are you saying they filled your wasabi's engine full of sawdust so it would sound like it was working properly but would stop halfway down the road? Maybe. Yes. I need to get my wasabi fixed so I can take it down and use it as my... Ah! Kamek's thrusters going off almost cooked me. Wait, it's fun. Hmm. Sure, fun's the term I'd have used, but sure. Entertaining. These guys barely fixed anything on the ship. Ugh. So what you're saying is we need resources. Well, yeah. I have literally said those words a few times. Uh, so should we just pick an asteroid and fly at it? I'm obviously going to be busy trying to get this side of things done so that we can have fighters protecting the carrier and our fleet and so that we can go back to having, you know, paprikas and wasabis printed off and repaired and H-trams repaired and things like that. TFE, you've, your ship I've... seems to have taken on a life of its own. Really? <laughs> when it's trying to kill me. Yeah. So what you're saying is maybe it would be... scanning though. Maybe it would be safer if TFE's ship was on a scouting mission. Well, I was actually going to suggest, Capac, since you're kind of in some ways waiting for me to figure out how much space this carrier, like the actual carrier part of the carrier is going to take up, did you want to w work with TFE and the two of you go out and scan for stuff? And I'll stay here watching the fleet. All right, road trip. But you're going to need to possibly get... TFE to help you set up the scanner apparatus. Uh, what? Oh, I was lazy and just had it pointing wherever my ship points. Yeah, that's fine. That's a valid Although way to it do did it. did result in a bit of a um, sort of anglerfish style thing poking out. <laughs> yeah, but like the two of you could all, like come back, you could build a small grid thing so you go scout some while TFE scouts others and uh, well, then TFE can jump you because he's got his big ship. I think you went the wrong way, Catback. Oh, I was just thinking maybe we should take one of the little mining ships rather than me making a new ship. I mean, you could take the one that I designed for TFE's ship. Which one's that? The uh, purple, purple and white one. one, this one right here. Okay. Did you design this for a specific connection point? Yeah, inside TFE's hangar. Oh, inside in the, the hangar bit. The, okay. uh, right. So the other side. But he, he re decided to reject it in order to see if he could fit his uh, his H tram inside. Yeah, it didn't fit. Which was, I think, uh, TFE's version of dreaming. 
Hey, I didn't reject it. I just had to temporarily move it somewhere where I wouldn't forget where I put it. Uh, what are you doing? Oh, I thought you were locked. <laughs> no, I just flew into the hangar. I was trying to get a camera angle so I could see where the connector is. Oh, close. Okay, yep, I'm locked in. Locked. Okay. All right, uh, I have an idea about the corridors. Yeah. What if we have them fold up? What? So the floor what? for the corridor could fold down when we need to launch things and then fold back up again when we need to traverse it. Um, okay, I see where you're coming from. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think you understand the, what the problem is at the moment. It's that they're too tall. Too tall? Yeah. It's only like two blocks. Yeah, but they're the wrong two blocks. They're too high up. So... For the for the fighter launch bays, they need to be welder arrays. So they need to be able to print and repair the fighter when it comes back into docked, into dock. So I need to be able to have welders all around those bays. And so that's going to occupy the space where those would be. Or unless... Wait, they... No, what if I put all the array in the middle and we just have a bit of a tube? Yeah, I was going to say, if you have like a... I could do that. Like a station where when it comes in it gets repaired and then it gets stored somewhere else so then you only need the one to repair whatever's coming in am i clear to jump uh yep i'm all all connected up yep yeah in my head i just decided we were gonna have a repair bay for each one so that it was um more easily tracked oh, i'm hearing jump sounds Bye. Oh, we didn't go very far. <laughs> yeah, but it's it's rare I'm outside a jump and I'm okay with it. <laughs> <laughs> so it's kind of nice. Um, it's kind of fun. I don't see any rocks. Any, a any asteroids? Hmm. Well, so I'm only jumping a short distance. <laughs> oh. Uh. I see a I see a rock. Um quite far below us and just behind oh there that that is good eye i would not have seen that <laughs> mere pinprick of light against the tapestry of deep space did i jump past it uh, that is the danger of jumping towards something you don't know yeah. the distance of we oh was... hold on i see something up and to the left to the left. Uh, it's in the darker region above the red blob. Oh, above the red blob. I must be blind. <laughs> Where's my ultra zooming camera when I need it? You're flying in a different direction. Ow. Oh. You said that. You didn't mean to say that I was pointing in the wrong direction when I turned. Um... Left, right, up, down. Because we, we should be seeing the same skybox, right? Yeah. I'm um, looking ahead at a bright red star and then there's a whole bunch of... Yeah, okay. Random. So if if you look down and to the right, there's like a red blob that looks sort of like a mountain. Oh, so like almost directly at the sun or...? Uh, about like halfway between where we're facing and the sun. Okay. Ah. So... This way. Yep, and then about like one and a half, maybe oh, maybe one mountain's height up, nose up, I see something. Oh, there. Yep. I think I see it. Uh, what are we actually looking for? Uh, we are looking for uranium, gold, or platinum. Okie dokie. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, that's definitely an asteroid. Yeah, we're getting closer. Oh, and there's another one's appeared. Oh, yeah. I should probably fire up the scanner. It's saying iron and iron. What about the other one? Um. So, TFV, there was some critique of your ability to read those that hey, was presented in the comments. Have you reviewed how you approach reading the spectroscopy? Um. If I'm saying correctly, all the lines have to match or something? Yes. Okay. 
So uh, you're looking for the pattern of lines that matches the pattern of lines for that particular mineral. Okay, yeah, that one definitely has iron and that's it. For all three markers. H cargo container hidden special. That's Whoa. the H that's the H tram. Oh. It's to stop it oh, right, yeah, when yeah, I yeah, load yeah. up with ammo getting pulled out. Yep, yep. Um so what the heck is this? What's this or scanner thing called? Um it's a... Uh, Technically what it is, it's actually an LCD on the bridge, so you'd have to come up and have a look at it. You should go up and have a look, because you can help him interpret it. That means I need to find my way to the bridge. Yeah, admittedly, that is difficult on Tearfish. It's pretty easy. The shortcut way is just um, on the inside, like the solar panels up top. How do I get up? Oh. Well, I was going to say... Through here? Way. Yep. Oh, it's the headlights. Oh no, that's space. Uh, space is actually correct. It's probably the easier way to get there. There's an entrance uh, towards the front of the ship, up on top of it. Found it! Okay, I see a spectrograph. Yeah. So we've got to find the thing where all the lines match. Damn. Across ways. It looks like it's saying gold and ice for that asteroid. Uh, that looks like gold and ice. Gold was one of the things you were looking uh, for, wasn't it? Yes, gold is one of the things you're looking for. I think that's it. I don't think there's anything else. Because those match all the lines. Oh, I should probably make sure you're seated before I start accelerating. Right. Uh, pancake. I'm sure that'll be fine. If he, if, if he dies, he'll complain about being in Darth Vader's lair again. It's true. Oh, that asteroid looks like it got hit by something. It's very um, hollow. Oh. The one we just passed. I imagine most asteroids have been hit by other asteroids. Potentially. It's possible somebody hollowed it out to fill it with cream, but they never got oh, around to back. it. You left the dampeners on in the G0. In the what? In the That's miner. That's the name of the miner. Oh. You've been cooking the floor. Looks like it hasn't caused any significant damage yet. Good. All right. I'm going in on foot. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah, there's a cert cargo transport almost directly over it. Oh. Some inconvenient. A little bit. All right, so, I'll try to slink around. Which way is it heading? Yeah, it's flying sort of away from it slightly. In visual range. I think it might do a complete fighter redesign. Uh, the wasabi isn't especially well made for um, operating inside a hangar space. Is it too wide? Uh, no, no. Size-wise, it's great. But the way I inset the connector makes for uh, connector mounting on this ship to be uh, more chunky than I'd like. The yeah. other downside is that it doesn't have a lot of reverse thrust. So flying inside another ship is kind of sketchy. So I might... Um, oh, I see a patch of mineral... I might just use its scale, but I'll come up with a new design once I've figured this out. But what I'm thinking... Um, gold. Yes. Gold. Oh, good. Right. Good, good. You actually did is, find gold. Is there ice as well? Uh, I've only found the gold, but I will make a... How far are you guys from the carrier? I'm about to send you a thing. Kilometers. 28-ish kilometers. So a pretty short jump, all things considered. Yeah. You've got tons of cargo space on your ship, don't you? I do. My battery's a little bit low, but with the power of solar... <laughs> uh -huh. Or if there's ice on that asteroid. Or that. The um, problem is I'd be using that to try and refill my tanks. Uh, I'm going to head around to the sunny side. Because it'll be easier to all see. Right. Well, if you guys find... If you find ice, I can use the jug and I can... Well, I can join you with the jug and we can do some serious mining. But uh, otherwise, I'm going to keep contemplating how on earth I'm going to do this thing in here because it's so complicated. I have found a nice deposit. Yeah. Also iron. So I've got okay. iron, ice, and gold. Yeah, there's a lot of nickel here. Okay. Ah, almost accidentally opened my helmet. That would have been um, not ideal. 
Mm. Get a nice lung full of space in you. <gasps> <laughs> Sounds like you've been doing a bit of that lately, Kamak. I have arrived. Mostly. Just gotta figure out where and which is how the gold's on this side, okay. Uh, there's a few deposits around the place. Yeah. Uh, but the GPS is at one of them. Yep. So the gold, the gold is really useful because that's going to allow us to build the jump drives on the carrier so the carrier isn't a sitting duck. Oh. Oh, yep, I'm seeing ice and iron. Uh, water range or detector is doing its job. Right, are you parked up? Um, I'm moving into position to start grabbing some of this gold. Oh, I suppose you could get the uh, little miner out as well. Yep, that's the plan. Just waiting for you to hold still for a second so I can do yep. it safely. Okay, I'm free. Yep. Uh, do we want gold more or ice more? Mm. Uh, get the ice first. Probably, yeah. Uh... So the TFE can use it for fuel and power if and needed. Then, yeah, once out. I mean, I should be fine for power now. You don't have that many solar panels. I mean, I do. I've got... Easy to count this through the menu. Why is one of them called solar panel 666? Capac. Don't look at me. Mm. I didn't change it anything. To name itself. Okay, I have 18 solar panels. Yeah, apparently you have at least 666 okay. is... of them. <laughs> 18 is quite a few. Meteor storm inbound. Uh oh. Uh oh. The event of some sort of disaster, I have to jump back to rescue. Meteor you, storm inbound. Back. Oh, oh and um, my ship, you've got ships with guns there, I hope, because mine was the one that nope. was shooting down the asteroids before. Well, who thought of this plan? <laughs> I'm going to call it a group effort. Your idea? <laughs> what, we agreed to it? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I mean, so far, Capax Polo Conflict hasn't been hit. Looks like it was a small storm, so... Uh, we got lucky. And I'm full of ice already. Yeah. You know, I'm only just getting into position now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you don't have any sort lower. of stone ejection, do you? Um, no, which is probably a good thing, actually, because that means I've got a bunch of, like, the basic ores and stuff. So if we have to like, add stuff to my ship or fix things. Hooked up again for another load of ice. Yeah. Oh. I'm not sure how happy the physics is with this. Uh, no, I think um, the top part of your ship is clipping the asteroid somewhere. Oh. Uh, yeah. Basic refineries don't do gold, do they? Nope. Ah, oh, well, that'll be fine then. I don't have to worry about... Because we've got yield modules on the carrier, haven't we? Yep. Oh. Yeah. Oh, so, uh, so I won't be processing it and getting us less than we otherwise would. No, no, no. My brain is not firing on all cylinders right now. Eh, uh, who needs them? Brains or cylinders? Either. Guess I can't argue with that. How many fighters do you reckon we need? Okay. No more than three. Okay, how about... Say three or four per person. Seems reasonable. Well, so if we're if we're launching fighters from the carrier to defend the carrier, um, oh, we're not parting it. No, maybe. I mean, I I guess I could make drone ones. Maybe I should be yeah. making drone ones. Drone swarm. Yeah. Okay, so if I have eight launch bays, that's eight drones, and then we can have missile launch bays as well. Or I could have six drones, which is probably more reasonable, and two human-controlled fighters that can be launched. Are you seeing that there's even two even cargo speed. ships there? Yes. Yeah. Nope. Be flying on their own. Alright, I think I've started to get an idea here. Man, it's been hard to come up with something that I thought would work, though. I don't think I'm going to be able to have drones that launch from, like, the sort of restrictive hangars that I'm building here. I think I'll have to have missile bay, like for the missile bay parts, those will be both drones and missiles. Because those need, like, 
the drones need a really easy path to get out of the ship because I don't want them risked crashing into it. Maybe you want to release them out the back of the ship? So if we're trying to run away from something. Well, not really, because how on earth am I going to build something in the back area of the ship where we've got all the stuff already? There's just no room just to put that something earlier. In. Well, we did, but the we decided that the more important thing was use the shields back there to protect Wait, the important stuff. you discovered intergalactic traffickers. They don't sound very friendly. Sound Depends like what they're, they're trafficking. Right. And where are they? I don't see them. Ooh. Oh. Uh, IGTK Rust Freighter. That sounds like them. Are they... Oh, they're neutral to us, no. surprisingly. Let's... What does that say about us that they're neutral? <laughs> Let's potentially not change that then? Yeah, but they're traffickers. They don't sound very nice to begin with. Depends who... what they're trafficking. Apparently they're trafficking Rust. Hmm? Well, it's just... It's just a freighter. Like, what if what if the thing that they're trafficking is actually something really valuable to the people that are, like, important for their safety or something? I don't know. Like personal protective well, equipment. Yeah. Rust is an acronym, judging by the way it's written. A full of ice here? Yeah. A million kilograms. I'm nowhere near full, but I've got a million, which should be enough to get my fuel reserves up at least 5%. <laughs> well... I guess I need even more O2 gens. Well, or bring it back to the carrier and hook up to the carrier and give the carrier some. Potentially. Or Capac ship some. Oh, we're going to get the gold first or we're going to head back? Gold! Get the gold because it takes a while to process. So bring it's it Gold home. in them there asteroids. Doesn't sound as catchy, does it? Yeah, it's a bit long. Golden them the roids? No, that doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> There's so many ways that can be interpreted. Uh, Almost none of them good. Oh, yep, yeah, I see the gold patch. Mm -hmm. It's pretty big. It's on the surface, isn't it? I think there's a way to like attach a spotlight to my little mining rig without getting in the way. I guess I could put it um, up the top near where it connects. Oh, I got spotlights. And I think I'd like to have it slightly more powerful than um, your little ones. All right, I think I've started to get a handle on this space in a way that we should have like a central hangar area and then airlocked fighter bays where they'll have a connector mounted to the ceiling because if I mount the connector on the ceiling, then we can leave the corridors as they were and between the corridor... Oh, I've discovered the galactic welders. Between the corridor and the hangar bay will be a single layer of plate. And then everything uh, works. <laughs> okay. so, so the corridors are going to look different through the hangar sections, which is fine, because I think the corridors are probably going to change through each section to make room for things. Oh, what the heck? Let's go with, like, a coloured beam for the mining one. Already filled up my ship with gold, and TFE hasn't even picked a spotlight colour. <laughs> hey, it's complicated. Is there isn't really a colour other than white that makes it clear what it is? Still? No, anything else will colour it. Uh, Kevin, you don't mind if I place the HRM on like um, the far ramp hanger, like compared to where my ship inside is? I need to stash uh, it somewhere. Get out of the way. I don't care where you put it as long as I've got somewhere to hook up this thing. Yep, you can connect at the back, and you can still connect in the hanger as well. Okay. HTRAM is out of the way a bit more. Sort of. So that's... Basically on like a landing pad. So how soon till you guys are coming back? Well, I we guess could, I'm... We could come back now. Uh, pretty soon, yeah. I'm just gonna... I'm no, just I'm, gonna just, I'm just curious because I'm... I'm... Let's deploy my drill. Right, I'm thinking I'm connected. through some things. Yeah, because a quick... Plunge with the large green one should be plenty of gold. Right. Turn on my drills. Yep. You say that. I filled up the jug three times to build the jump drives we have. Uh. Looks like I can't go any lower because otherwise I will crash into the asteroid. Yes. Ease it back up. How much gold have we got? We've got 77,000. That is certainly a decent amount. 
It's better than no gold. Indeed. Actually, is that close enough that I should just be able to jump to the wasabi's beacon? I'm assuming it's a beacon. Uh, I think it's a beacon. Uh, I assume Capac seated. Yep. I'm locked in. Yep. Much better than having to guess a GPS. It's true. Though I do have one. Um, oh, only 1.1 kilometers away. DCWE commercial freighter. DCWE. Alright, let's see what horrors Splitzy has inflicted. You're gonna be upset. It's this way. What the? Where? Okay. So it ha it it was forced to be at that height because of the armor on the outside. But it should be if we make the fighters so they have a connector on the roof. We can just put steel plate, and then we can still have the corridor as is. But we'll have to figure out a different way of venting, of um, pressurizing these bits of the corridors. But that's okay, we can work that out. Um, so my plan was, we've got pressurized kind of airlocks that the fighters sit in on each, si on each side. So we'll have eight bays for fighters or combat ships, small combat ships. Okay. That can be launched out through these gateways. And we need to make sure that they fit that size. Because I think it's a good size to use. Um, then, this central area was going to be where I'd put the welder array to print off new ones. Which then you can just move down and park in their respective bays once you need. Once we need to put a new one in. Okay, so where's going to be the return? You return back the door you came. Wherever you exited, you come back in that way. I thought you were going to have like a top or a bottom. I originally we would... had thought of doing like a pass through, but I think this is more space efficient. And then beneath this hangar will be the hangar for the utility ships, and they'll exit out the bottom of the ship. Because the. Which is why I'm grinding this so, out. So where's the repair station going to be? It'll be in the middle. Because the, the problem with. So what you you're just, talking about is well, because you can fly through and through your little the little bay. Yeah, yeah, but you'd be you'd you'd launch out, you'd do stuff, you'd fly back, but then you'd have to fly through one of these. Yep. To come in here to repair, and yep. then go back out into one of the tubes. Yes. So repair is a bit of a faff, but printing a new one not so much. Well, that, that's what I thought if we had like a separate like retrieval entrance where we could come in get repaired um, and then get fed back into one of the actually it tubes. is it, okay I'll so if you come to where I'm at which is over near the welder ship at the bottom of the ship bottom of the carrier so this hole here is going to be a wider hangar door using airtight hangar doors because it's going to be used for passing things like the jug out. And yep. if we build that in a way that it can connect up to this upper hangar area, then that is the way you could return back, uh, return in, get repaired, and then go into your respective correct bay. Okay. So we have like a return sort of shaft that has like like a lower exit for the like mining Utility vehicles ships, yeah. and like a higher exit for the fighters. that feeds out into the repair area okay yeah that could work this is why i wanted you here because i i knew there were going to be things i needed to put a bit more thought into uh how big can those doors be um so it's gonna have to be big enough to fit the jug the jug is one two three four five um closer to six large grid blocks long so what it'll probably end up being is something like this so seven blocks along like that going front to back so it'll be seven by four that's quite large yeah but and this thing will fit through that the jug yeah remember how remember that the locks. door we had on the moon base vaguely <laughs> the jug fitted through that the jug right. was designed around these this style of hangar door I specifically designed it to fit relatively okay through a gap of that size 
Uh, do you want to put like an extra door on either side to give it a bit, a bit of wiggle room? Well, the the tightest is actually this the dimension that I can't increase the size of. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I'm aware of that. Uh, but seven should, be, seven should give wiggle room because it's six blocks long. Well, it's just, five and a half blocks long, so seven's... Just, which is why you've done six. Yeah, because I've... I've got an inventory that gets very Ow. full, so I can't grind all these things out in one go. Well, those components are gone forever. <laughs> well, lucky you were the one who... Go hey! You two did some mining! Yes, and I was growing something down, I forgot that... Oh yeah, there's artificial gravity here, so... Don't the the block just in oh, mean your storm. And... Don't go what? telling everyone, or they'll all want minerals. I was going to say, if I want to do some really serious mining, I could just um, change the grinders out for drills on the front of my ship. Well, I mean, at some point, it feels like your ship is going to become our large grid drill ship. <laughs> yeah, it kind of is. Anyway. I feel like that's what's happening here. Yeah. With the ability to shoot down meteors as well. Well, with the ability to expend ammunition trying to shoot them down. Hey, it's moderately successful. I haven't seen any get shot to so far. Very fast meteors. <laughs> okay. I've run into a problem. Well, I'm not sure this is exactly where the door needs to be. I wasn't yeah, I was really just thinking as I put it. If it's there, that's gonna like conflict with these launch tubes. Uh no. No? No. These aren't launch tubes. The hangers these are launch hangers. The fighters Thank will you. sit inside them. So there can be no floor here. That's fine. Yeah? Makes sense? Yeah, but it'd be weird. <laughs> yes, this is perfectly sensible otherwise. What, what makes it weird? Like, we like, can still... Have, having, having like, a, a transport shaft that comes up and is, like, halfway past a door that opens out onto it. What? Because, like, this this is the edge of the sh the shaft. I wasn't going to build, like, walls on it. I was no. going to leave... Well, because I've got it... to navigate ships through this space. I wanted to leave free space around them. How much free space? Enough that I don't hit the walls. But Especially the, the with the main... fact this thing seems to be spinning all the time. The main free space is the extra space above the hangar doors. Yeah, I'm not planning on having a whole bunch of extra... <laughs> blocks and stuff around because I think that'll be a problem part of me that wants to do a giant merge block door yeah I was thinking about Didn't that you, when we were merge blocking something on the moon it nearly crashed the game I've never heard of such a thing there are there are significant pauses when the carrier yeah. merge blocks to something yes because it is such a large ship it has a tendency to take a while to update all of the to update the massive grid that's just changed. Yes. That is a thing. And a consideration. I think I might try and work out what I can do with this utility hangar space first. So, what space is needed for the ships? What space is needed for other functions around here? And then, that'll give us an idea of how much space is left for the fighter base. Then this area at the front is probably going to be reopened later, but that'll be once I've designed the missiles. Really wish it didn't take so long to build this stuff on the carrier because I really just want to start launching missiles at the enemy ships and testing them. But I suppose we should find some source of magnesium that doesn't involve buying 1500 uh, explosives. Exactly what I call efficient. I mean, it's not bad. Not but it's bad, just not repeatable. Not, yeah. I've got to hope that they have them in stock and we don't really have any way to control that. But Kamak, if you're concerned about where that hangar bay is, where would you put it? Huh? Where would you put these doors if you're concerned about where they're currently placed? What would be your alternative? Um, I probably would like slide them back a couple of blocks. Isn't that still going to run into one of the hangar bays? Because they go all the way back to this end at the end of this section. What else do we need a section for? So if we're, if we're doing these two sections, they're going to be... We may end up with some free space, which would be great. Where were I mean, you 
Where were you planning on putting the... The printing stuff is going to be in the middle here somewhere, right? Hopefully. It'll depend how much space I end up needing for printer space for missiles, because those will need a printer around every single missile launcher. But they're going to be much smaller, so they should only need a single or probably two or three welders each. So they can be made much more compact. Whereas because stuff like the fighters are much larger, they need to have like welders on all sides to make sure that they're printable properly and repairable. So I was going to make a two by three size tube that's just welders on all sides that has a has the ability to pop up something that can uh, be a projector for small grid when we want to print a new one. But when we are repairing an existing ship, all you have to do is fly through, have the welders activate, and it will fix everything on the ship at once. Assuming it's yeah. a ship designed to fit out the other doors. No bogey on the scope. What? It is annoying. Um, uh, nope. I think it'll be fine. That red wrangler is rather close. It is rather close, but I think it's going further away. Uh, no, it is getting closer. That could be a problem. Is in visual range. Oh, there's also an ACM Hecate and a space cryotransporter. What I was about to say is it's rather annoying with the way things are inside this carrier that I kind of can't use the welder ship because <laughs> it's kind of hard to get anything into it and Capac keeps putting scaffold in the middle of places so you can't fly anything large through there anyway. That's somehow Capac's fault. Yeah, it's always going to be Capac's fault. It's like my mission in life to make everything Capac's fault. Yeah. He makes it pretty easy. Pretty obnoxious of me trying to give the ship enough structural support so it doesn't collapse like an empty Zeppelin. And it is full of hydrogen. Probably would more deflate than collapse. Okay, that floor is in. That makes things a bit simpler to figure out here. So what we also need for this Capac is an airlock. So these hangers need to be airlocked because we don't want to have to evacuate the whole ship or the whole hangar space every time we bring a ship in. So um, what I was contemplating was whether low. to the utility hangar we'd have a secondary door going this way. Like that's the entry to that. That's going to be perfectly in this floor. <laughs> really? It'll for it'll be the floor, actually. So I'll have to take Well actually yeah. that's not necessarily required, is it? No, it doesn't need to be that big. What am I doing? I'm curious. I think the front of this might actually fit through something different. Let me try it. I think the front of the jug could fit. Um, I don't know if this is going to work here, though. Ooh, looks like I've up, I've offloaded all my. I think ICs the jug might fit through my... that. Try. So if I offload all my ice into the carrier, I could go and make another trip with my new mega miner. <laughs> is it is Marlin the mega miner? Yes, Marlin the mega miner. But I figure this will probably be a bit more effective than the little small grip miner. True. Um, so are we going to get ice first or gold, do you think? Um, whichever. Come back, do I fit? Both. Uh, you need to be higher. I just need to disconnect before I jump, or otherwise there'll be a truly spectacular panic. Uh, a little bit lower. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's a, that's a tight squeeze. I mean, I fit, but that is a tight squeeze. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty close, but it does fit. Okay, so that is an option. Uh, it doesn't have to be arranged that way around either. Do you want to try it the other way? Uh, well then wouldn't you have to fly sideways to get through it? I don't think so. Hey, so I think you would. Let's check anyway. I mean, we are in space, I can fly sideways. It's obviously less desirable. Uh, and we probably wouldn't have it this close to the other doors, because that would be obnoxious. Oh, yeah, I'm much too wide for that, aren't I? Yep. Alright. So that's probably not the best way, because that was that was quite a tight fit. But... Oh, see ya, TFE. See ya. It's 
so weird watching you disappear. Yeah. I quite enjoy it. This is the alternative option, Kamak. But this will be have to be offset to one side, which is probably okay. But we could do a hangar door like this. Yeah, this might be better. Uh, how close can we put this to the edge without it messing up the corridors? So I have an idea. Wait, why not just... Uh, yeah, because I don't really want it sticking out. I suppose I... Because it'll kind of blend into... Because it'll be next to the, the hangar door here. What does it look like once it's welded up? I don't have anywhere near enough bits. No, <laughs> no, they're really expensive to build. Because I, I remember, I'm still going to put some white detailing over here, so I can probably mess with some of that. So yeah, this could probably be done. It does... In... Unfortunately, the problem with this is that I... Even with that open, am I going to be able to spin the jug around to pass through a doorway there? In the space that's available. Yeah. Sound awfully confident for someone who's not going to be doing it. You're the, you're the one who said you wanted heaps of space in this shaft so that you could get, they could turn things around. Why, why are you building? Why have you got these here? Ah, uh, because I needed something to attach the top side of the hangar doors to. Wait, what? Why not just make it the same width as the door down here? Um. I don't know. Because don't, I don't think it needs to be. Uh oh. I feel like Baldrin doesn't get too close because that one's got the big guns. 2.7. Am I going to need to jump back? <laughs> um. Getting a bit close. I think it's going to be at its perigee in about two, like at about 2.47 or something. Or I'm completely wrong because it's still getting closer. Quick, weld up all the armor. <laughs> <laughs> uh, go away, Baldrin. Please go I away. Have, I have selected the wasabi as the jump point if need be. <laughs> 2.3736. Go away. Come on, go away. Alright, I, I think it is the rate at which it is approaching us is slowing down. So it must be near its nearest approach. Yeah, we're going to be okay. Okay, Kamak, can you please observe me coming through these hangar doors and then turning and going through the other ones and see if there's anywhere... See if this is enough space. It's going to be very hard to do with um, out much space for the third person camera too. Uh, okay, so... Can I pretty much turn in this space? I can, can't I? Uh, the, the edge of your drill would have clipped this blast door if it was in place. So um, you would have had to like back up a little bit. Okay, but, so we may need to move the doors an extra block away from these doors. No, but you've got two blocks of space that you could have backed up in. Because you've oh. got the row above the hangar door, and then you've got this row of armor blocks. So what I was thinking was... <coughs> what we can easily do is... So when you fly in, these are the only doors that'll be open. The ones that I'm yep. flying through now. So you fly into here... Those I'll doors then close, close the doors. Then, or then the other doors open, and yep. then you proceed. I think that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, that works. I also think we're probably going to need someone managing these doors manually that's not flying the ship. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> For this sort of stuff to work smoothly. Okay, so now I need to figure out connector mountings, because then I can put these ships in their places. Uh... What you doing here, Kamak? Yep, those are words. I'm just messing about hmm. the uh, habitation section. How many people should we have habitation for? Fifty. At least three. <laughs> <laughs> yes, at least three. I'm thinking, like, a good place to start might be six. 
twice as many people as we are at present. Are you planning on um, recruiting some more people? Well, I'm more being aware that, you know, sometimes certain mercenaries aren't as reliable as they might want to, we might want them to be, so we might have to prepare for that. Mercenaries are the most reliable people around. But they're reliably only in it for the money. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to play Tetris with ships here. It's, uh, it's <laughs> interesting. Uh, yeah. It's proving to be complicated trying to fit the jug, the, uh, the underbiter, and the blob, the blob, the builder, uh, all in this space, because they they end up taking up a lot of space. <laughs> what he's saying is the carrier needs to be bigger. How about can you come and offer some perspective on this as well? Energy low. Oh, I'm dying. <laughs> I guess that's a form of perspective. I mean, it's a reasonable excuse for not turning up to help. <laughs> Oh, well, mm, I don't know, just scrap them. How many mining ships do we need? I don't know. Fine. <laughs> Zero. It depends Mining's if TFE's chumps. mining or not. Well, yes, that's things would become its job now. No, I was more meaning that you've got a habit of destroying mining ships. <laughs> hey, I'm extra careful when it's a giant one. <laughs> <laughs> so we need more if you're mining. Uh it, it is a fair question though, Capac. I'm not sure how much we need the underbiter, but um, I feel like having backup mining ships is not a bad thing. Oh, oh, Capac, I've got an idea. Uh, does it involve marshmallows? So obviously the welding ship and the underbiter are the two ships that are going to be used less, right? I'll take that as a no. Especially the underbiter. Sure. So what if... What if this arrangement... Oh, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. In fact, it probably makes it easier for all of the ships to get in and out, except maybe a little tougher for the jug, but generally, like for the other two, definitely easier. Yeah. And, and we'll have like two rows of connectors, one on either side, so that they're symmetrical. But we'll, um, we'll put like the pipe caps or the conveyor things on the ones we're not using. Or just use them as convenient cargo access yeah but Inventory full. have it be like if we need to swap out the connectors it's pretty easy to do so if like yep. the shapes of things change or yep. whatever yep all right <laughs> that was a lot of um committee meetings to figure out what we were doing there i dropped off 151,000 gold nice uh i hope the refineries are refining it uh yep they are sweet yeah, we still haven't named the carrier, have we? Yep. Although it is technically the Agitation Station. It, it is currently called the Agitation Station, that is correct. I say we call it the Agitation Inflation. Is it, there needs to, is it, what if it's like a snappy name that describes something as too large and over budget? <laughs> Boondoggle. <laughs> what? The United oh. States Military. The shuttle program. We are not Can calling we... my carrier the Boondoggle. Oh. You mean your carrier? We've contributed as well. <laughs> hey, she's my ship. You guys have just contributed. As discussed earlier, I am ad 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 admirable. Basically. Agreed. I am <laughs> admirable <laughs> McSplicted. <laughs> this Why is can't revenge. I talk whenever I try and say this? <laughs> what is wrong with my brain? Oh, Admiral McSplitzytron. No, admirable. Yeah. <laughs> That's what, that's what came out when I tried to say it. My brain. My brain in it. My brain no worky. I find it kind of funny that I've become the mining person after me and Capac basically refused to do it for ages. It's almost like if I just don't do it, I can yeah. pressure you guys into it. Yeah, but I'm like, any excuse to stick giant drills on the front of my ships? They're excellent for ramming into things in an emergency. Yes. Yes. Uh, Capac. I prefer not to use them. Oh yeah, he did that, didn't he? Speaking of ramming into things... Don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> the multicoloured monstrosity kind of <laughs> stood out. The what? Um... I had an idea for you. I would definitely remember if something like that happened. Pressed it into those Wayland guys, don't you remember? Multiple times. Nope, never happened. 
Oh, Capex just crashed into it. <laughs> Pushing it away. Anyway, Capex, you do enjoy a little bit of a front frontal assault, shall we say? Hey. Uh, sure, I guess you could, you could say that. <laughs> Have you considered TFE's going off mining? Yep. <laughs> I, don't need, I don't need to say anything. I can just go. Yeah, he doesn't want to hang around for this conversation. <laughs> well, it's more that it's more that I hear the jump noise and it makes me panic because I'm not in a seat. So where was I? Who am I? What year um, is it? Lieutenant Splitzy. It's Admiral, the year Energy Critical. Admirable uh, My brain. I don't know why. Why can't I say that? Why is that a tongue twister for me? I don't understand. Um, anyway. I've actually forgotten what I was talking about now. Uh oh. I think I had a stroke. Are we sure Slitzy's getting enough oxygen in his suit? Hang on, did someone replace my suit oxygen with happy gas? Apex being conspicuously silent. <laughs> I'm noticing that too. Oh, I'm not paying attention. There we go, Capac. Connectors for those three ships. Okay. That works out pretty well. Yeah. That'll do. Shouldn't negatively impact other things around them. Oh boy. Ugh. That sounds good. You yeah, about totally. to lose another mining ship. No. For <laughs> some reason I seem to decelerate much slower than normal. That's fine, I just lightly bumped into the asteroid for my drills. Um, is it possible that you didn't offload everything in your carrier? No, oh, I did. Shit. It's possibly the weight of all the extra drills probably isn't helping. Oh yeah, I'm like... 150,000 kilos more than before. Oh yeah, that would make some difference. Oh. Gonna be preposterously heavy after this mining though. Uh, okay, yep, that's fine. Just checking what Capac was doing. Been spying on him. Uh, no, well, he's he's put some... He's using the pipes as a lot of sort of fake wiring, which looks cool. Oh, yeah. Um, but I just wanted what? to make sure that it was actually connected up to things. Oh, no, this is connecting up to the guns, isn't it? Yeah, hey, this is all proper connections. Yeah, because I was also thinking, given the value of these guns, they may want to have an auto-welding set up as well. I'm... I might... Be about to annoy you with something though. Does so Capac or me as well? these things. Just Capac. Um, I wanted to show you something, and I was thinking about whether it might look better. Where the heck are the guns on the there? It, whether it might look better than my current arrangement of the rail guns. So currently, I've got them all individual. But what if we paired them like that? I have to redo this whole room. Yeah. Uh, and they won't fit. This area is only like seven across. So yep. now I've got to go outside. Whoa. Whoa. What's, what's yeah. shooting? There's a thing. Oh, there's a drone. What? Uh, we have a problem. These things don't travel far. Well, we don't have any guns. Yeah. This, Where did it come from? This drone, that's that's my... It does still have a gun. Kabak, it's oh. got a turret. Oh, why isn't it shooting? Where's it going? I think it's retreating. We can follow it home. If we dare. It's headed to the gold mine. What? Can't be... That's not here after me, because I'm jumping back. <laughs> that's definitely headed in that direction. Kabak, is it going towards that mining outpost? I don't see a mining outpost. It's... This is I also... It's just drifting. Hiding pirate station. What? What? How dare they? Um... It's pirates. There is a sneaky pirate station out there. I don't know where. It briefly popped up. Probably because I'm next to this patrol drone. I see the mining outpost. Give it a hammer. There we go. I took all the goodies. Guess I should disable this drone properly. Inventory full. Hang on, it's dead. Bye. Admirable McSplitzing. 
Dang it, I can't even do it when I'm pre-recording it.